Hello viewers, welcome to AP's 5 minute ophthalmology pearls. Watch, understand and remember anything in ophthalmology in under 5 minutes. Today we will talk about dacryocystorhinostomy, a procedure that is performed for epiphora due to nasolacrimal duct obstruction. The principle of DCR or dacryocystorhinostomy is to provide an alternative drainage pathway for drainage of tears by suturing of the lacrimal sac to the nasal mucosa in the middle meatus. Before discussing the steps of DCR, the lacrimal sac is situated in the lacrimal fossa which is bounded anteriorly by the anterior lacrimal crest of the frontal process of the maxilla and the posterior lacrimal crest of the lacrimal bone. The floor of the lacrimal fossa separates the lacrimal sac from the nasal mucosa. To approach the lacrimal fossa, beneath the skin is the orbicularis oculi and when the fibers of the orbicularis are separated, one can see the medial canthal tendon which acts as an insertion for the palpebral fibers of the orbicularis and which inserts into the medial wall of the orbit. Beneath that is the periosteum which engulfs the lacrimal sac and is called the lacrimal fascia. Here you can see the lacrimal sac beneath the medial canthal tendon. Prior to surgery, the nose is packed with gauze soaked in lignocaine and adrenaline to reduce bleeding and to keep the mucosa taut. Now coming to the actual steps of surgery. Step 1. A skin incision is made about 10 to 12 mm medial to the medial canthus at the level of the medial canthal tendon in a curvilinear fashion along the anterior lacrimal crest for about 15 mm. Step 2. The fibers of the orbicularis oculi are separated by blunt dissection taking care not to injure the angular vein to avoid uncontrollable bleeding. Step 3. Separation of the medial canthal tendon allows easy access to the lacrimal sac beneath. Step 4. An incision is made and the periosteum is lifted off the bone with a periosteal elevator. This exposes the lacrimal fossa. In a dacryocystectomy, the sac is dissected out, cut at both ends and removed at this stage. Step 5. Osteotomy An opening is made in the floor of the lacrimal fossa approximately 10 to 15 mm in diameter with a citelli or a kerosene bone punch. Step 6. Incisions are made both in the lacrimal sac and nasal mucosa by first making a vertical incision and then small horizontal incisions superiorly and inferiorly to form the letter H. The sac incision may be aided by insertion of a Bowman's probe into the sac through the upper punctum. Step 7. Usually the posterior flaps are trimmed as suturing them is technically very difficult and only anterior flaps are fashioned. Step 8. The anterior flap of the lacrimal sac is then sutured to the anterior flap of the nasal mucosa by absorbable sutures. Step 9. The orbicularis is then sutured with or absorbable sutures. And finally, step 10. The skin is closed with either absorbable or non-absorbable sutures. The nasal pack may be removed after 1 to 2 days. So, that's it for today. If you liked what you saw, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from AP's 5-Minute Ophthalmology Pearls. You may watch my other videos by clicking on the thumbnails. Please leave a note in the comment section if you wish for any particular topic to be covered in future. Look forward to weekly updates. Thank you for watching.